welcome everyone today we shall study scientific reasons from lesson chemical re reactions and equation from standard 10 so let's study okay our first question is when the gas formed on heating lime stone is passed through freshly prepared lime water the lime water turns milky why this happened so in this picture you can observe uh, when carbon dioxide gas is passed through the solution of a lime water it turns the solution of a lime water in milky form so why this happened so let's see the reason the gas formed on heating limestone is carbon dioxide okay so we are passing the carbon dioxide uh, from the solution and when this gas is passed through lime water it forms calcium carbonate or limestone now calcium carbonate means CaCO3 which turns milky which turns the solution milky and when limestone is heated the reaction will be written as CO, uh, CaCO3 that is calcium carbonate it will convert it into calcium oxide that is CaO plus carbon dioxide okay so here the carbon dioxide is forming and uh, CaCO3 is limestone that is calcium carbonate and when carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water okay now here carbon dioxide is passing on the solution of a calcium hydroxide or lime water then what happened Car uh, calcium carbonate uh, it turns into PPT now here you can observe the uh, alongside the calcium carbonate the arrow heading downwards okay now when the arrow heading downward what does it mean that means precipitate uh, of the calcium carbonate has been formed okay and this is why the freshly prepared lime water turns the milky on passing the carbon dioxide gas so this is lime water it is CaOH twice and when carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water or calcium hydroxide it is CaOH twice it turns milky due to the formation of the precipitate of the insoluble milky now pre precipitate here it is calcium carbonate that is CaCO3 so this is a reason okay now next reason is it takes time to uh, for pieces of shahaba tile to disappear in HCl it is hydrochloric acid but its powder disappear rapidly so here we uh, there are two cases okay when dilute or uh, when hydrochloric acid it is HCl is uh, reacting with the pieces now pieces means here the uh, shahaba tile are greater in size okay pieces will be greater in size but similarly when we are uh, re when hydrochloric acid will be reacting with powder shahabat okay so what happened it will disappear rapidly so why this is so so the rate of a reaction now rate of a reaction means uh, time taken to complete one certain reaction chemical reaction okay so the rate of reaction depends upon the size of the particle of the reactants taking part in the reaction now here the reactants are shahabat tile and hydrochloric assets okay so the particle size of shah pieces of shaba tile is greater so it will take more time to complete the reaction and the powder shahaba tile particle size in the powdered shahaba tile is very fine very smaller okay so here the rate of reaction will be very rapid and the smaller the size of the reactant particles the more is their total surface area and faster is the rate of reaction so in powder uh, shahaba tile the rate of reaction will be faster and in the reaction of dilute SCL with pieces of Shahaba tile that is carbon dioxide uh, effervescence that means bubbling of carbon dioxide is formed and the tile disappears slowly why because uh, the particle size is greater here okay and on the other hand carbon dioxide effervescence uh, forms at faster rate with the Shahaba tile powder and it disappears rapidly okay so when the particle size is smaller the rate of reaction will be faster and when the particle size is larger or greater the rate of reaction will be slow okay now next is i'm preparing dilute sulfuric acid from concentrated sulfuric acid in the laboratory the concentrated sulfuric acid is added slowly to water with constant stirring why okay so here we can see the while preparing the dilute sulfuric acid in the now dilute means in which the amount of water is more okay uh, laboratory acid is added slowly to water okay and water is never added to acid as it will be the exothermic process which can cause the fatal to the person now that means if we added water okay 
if we added water directly to the concentrated acid that uh, what will uh, happen the large amount of a heat will be produces and we did, that is very dangerous type of a reaction it may cause fatal also and uh, with constant stirring because it will not cause any harm to the person or any apparatus in the laboratory so what uh, we have to do uh, we were uh, while preparing the dilute sulfuric acid or h2so4 acid uh, is slowly added to the water okay with constant stirring so that it will be favorable reaction will take place and if water is directly added to the acid then there will be sudden increase in temperature that means more amount of heat will be produced and the acid being in bulk tends to spurts out with the serious consequences so this point you should remember always while preparing uh, dilute sulfuric acid from concentrated acid in the laboratory okay now next question is it is recommended to use air tight uh, container for storing oil or for oil for a long time so why should we store why should we store oil always in a air tight container because if edible oil is allowed to stand for a long time it undergoes what happen air oxidation that means the oil will react start reacting with the oxygen present in the air and it becomes rancid that means foul smell will be a uh, foul odor or foul smell will be coming from that oil and it become uh, it will not uh, it will become unhealthy for us okay um, so it becomes rancid and its smell and taste changes so we should not use that rancid oil and uh, rancidity in the food is stuff cooked in oil or ghee is prevented by using antioxidant also and the process of oxidation reaction of food stuff can also be slowed down by storing it in air tight container that means here two uh, things uh, should be done that is uh, whether we will use antioxidants and uh, next uh, the air should oil should be stored in the air tight container next is the luster that means the shining okay the luster of the surface of the aluminum so aluminum is the metal okay so the luster of the alum, uh, surface of the aluminum utensils in the household uh, house is lost after a few days that means what happen when uh, aluminum utensil will be kept as it is in the re in reaction uh, of the air okay directly exposure of the air so when aluminum utensils are kept in the house for fewer days what happened the aluminum gets oxidized to form aluminum oxide it is al2o3 that means layer of aluminum oxide will form on reaction with the uh, aluminum with oxygen which is present in the air so this is a, the one example of the corrosion also which we have discussed in our previous video so uh, you should watch you should watch that video in a playlist you will get that link okay and uh, a thin layer of aluminum oxide that is al2o3 is formed on the surface of the utensil and thus they lose their metallic luster after a few days so this should be avoided okay now next is silver nitrate is used in the voters ink so the ink which is uh, put on our finger after getting voted so what happened uh, that is prepared by using the silver nitrate okay and uh, silver nitrate is soluble in water and makes an inky black solution which you can observe in the long side dying picture also and uh, when put on the skin silver nitrate reacts with the salt present on it to form silver chloride so here silver chloride means it will convert it into agcl2 okay and silver chloride is insoluble in water and it clings to the skin and it cannot be also washed off with soap and water that is why it um, it uh, remains on the skin for longer time and the ink will only disappear when old skin cells die and get replaced by the new one and hence silver nitrate is used in the water voters ink so this is a uh, i hope you all have understood all the scientific reason that's it for today's video thank you